Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Show the creep who runs this show. There he is. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Here I am with my red bucket, Muggo Joe. I am, uh, what am I doing tonight? Sergeant Dickinson's? Is it Sergeant Dixon's or Dickinson's uh, or Mr. Dickinson's or whatever? It's, uh, it's uh, Pete's. I love, you know what I love? I love their Pete's Big Bang. I don't know if you've ever tried Pete's Big Bang, but if you haven't had a chance to, you really should. I mean, it is. It is terrific. It is really good. Anyway, uh, we're just going to talk with you tonight, you know, about one thing or another. I got a whole bunch of items. I did a little prep here. I did prep? Oh, boy, it's unusual. Am I, I'm, I'm feeling so-so today. Uh, you know, I'll tell you, I got to tell you, uh, you know, I, I, I often gripe about the, um, about doing this job and what it entails and uh, all the stuff that I have to do to make it work uh, because nobody else does it. Most of the people here, they do their shows, and I'm sure they prepare for them and so on, but they just do their shows, and that's it. Uh, I, on the other hand, have to post the shows, uh, I have to keep the website going, uh, I have to do all kinds of things. And in the process of that, you really want to feel that every inch of it is worth it, that you're not wasting your time. Now, I come, in radio, I come from a, a, a place where we all... Uh, you, you know, when you went on the air and you, if you had a decent-sized morning show like I did in San Francisco, as, a, as an example, uh, I had maybe 20,000, 25,000 people listening to me every single morning, okay? So that was radio. And by the way, there weren't any other diversions. You didn't really have the Internet. You didn't have podcasts. That wasn't invented till I invented it years later. I, really, I invented podcasts, folks. I'm not bragging here. It, it's the absolute truth. And why I haven't sued somebody up until now, I have no idea. I and another guy, uh, I was, uh, let me put it this way, I was out of work. And I needed to do something to kind of keep the show going, okay? So um, I... Um, created a thing called, a, 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 I did a daily show, and you would come, how, how do we do it? You went to my website, I had a website, and you went to the website, and then you clicked on this thing, and you could hear the show, okay? That, and it was a very simple thing. Well, that was a podcast, and I don't know that there were very many other people doing it in that way. At least they were doing, they were, they were, they were, perhaps there were some other people doing broadcasts, as it were, as they thought it to be. But uh, uh, I, I was doing a, a daily show that that was it because I didn't have a job. And uh, I had this friend, he was like, a, you know, he was a, he was a techie. He was, a, he was a guy who could write code and write programs and so on. And he came to me one day and he said, here, put this on your computer. I said, okay, what is it? He says, it's a program I made just for you. I said, what's it called? He says, Auto Alex. I said, Auto Alex? He says, yeah, what we do is we put this on your site and then people download it. And then they put it on their computer. I said, so what does Auto Alex do? And he says, Every day, it will check to see if there's a new episode of your show, and if there is, it will download it onto their computer automatically so that when they come home, there's your show. He said, that's a great idea. So we put that into action. What does that sound like to you? Okay? Now, we didn't call it podcasting. We didn't call it... Uh, um, because that was what uh, Apple came up with to call it. But what, what, what do you do with iTunes? You go and you ask for a show, and every day if there's a new one, it's delivered to your computer, right? So, yes, we did the first podcast. We kind of invented podcasting, 
And I don't know that anybody else was doing what we were doing. And I'm not trying to be braggadocious here. If I didn't, I wouldn't say it. But I'd like a little respect in somebody to say, hey, did you know that Alex Bennett actually started podcasting? But no, no, I won't, I won't get that from people. Um, so anyway, there were a few other things I, I was first doing too, but I, uh, I don't know, some of them I don't want to lay claim to. Um, but anyway, uh, so how did I get into that, all about the podcasting? Oh, yeah, so I, just about, so doing a podcast here is, uh, is, a, is something that is, I've been doing for, well, I guess since about, if I were to reckon it correctly, I would say 1997. Okay? All right. So that's, that's, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, but, you know, I don't know how many people, there's no way of telling how many people listen to my little podcast or how many people had their machines downloaded because we didn't get those kind of statistics in those days, you know. It's very hard to get them. Nobody, nobody created analytics because there wasn't really any need for it. So you just hope that people were listening. And if nothing more, I did it. Because even though, even if nobody was listening to it, I knew that um, I could, I was doing something. You know, I wasn't working. I didn't have a job. So this gave me a chance to, to apply my craft uh, absent a job. So that was, uh, that, was that whole deal. Um, so now years pass. And of course, I then went to, uh, went to CNET for a while. And I stopped doing the, the podcasting thing. Uh, we did at, uh, at um, uh, Play Incorporated do the first internet television broadcast every day. Um, uh, that, was, that was for sure. Uh, and I'm trying to remember when exactly we did start doing the first podcast. I think it was after I lost my job. In, yeah, it had to be. It had to be. Yeah, it had to be. Well, it might have been a little earlier than that. Because I was fired three years earlier, two uh, a year and a half earlier, and I did do some stuff online. I think at that point, I don't know if we came up with it. I'd have to go back. I'd have to find the guy. He lives here in New York, and find out what year we actually did that in. It may be earlier than 1997, but anyway. Um, so then I, uh, I then I got a job at CNET. So I stopped doing the little podcast thing. And uh, then I was out of work there after a year, and uh, I just kind of worried about where I was going to go. And I decided to come to New York, and I got the job at Sirius, and I did nine, nine years and change there. And uh, as soon as I was no longer working, what was the first natural thing for me to say I'd do? A podcast. Okay, because that's what all out-of-work broadcasters do. They get a podcast. I mean, the Internet is littered with ex-talk show hosts. It is littered with former broadcasters. Because, but they're going to the Internet. Oh, yeah, and that's the next big thing. And then, of course, you get here and you realize uh, you can't figure out a way to monetize it. You try, but you really, you really can't. It's a hand-to-mouth existence. Um, so you don't, you know, and what you find when you come to it, and it's a great disappointment for a, a normal over-the-air broadcaster, is that what you, what you have isn't the same thing you had before. You don't have that 20,000 people. Now you say, well, gee, some people have millions of people. Well, they're giving, here, here's how you make a living on the Internet. Uh, you come up with something that's short, like seven minutes, Okay like makeup tips, okay? Uh, uh, something that, that is easy for people to absorb and they can do it quickly and they can do it on their way to work or, you know, sitting at home and it doesn't ask too much of them. And those people on YouTube, for instance, get a million hits. If you get a million uh, plays on anything on YouTube, you'll make $2,000. That's what I saw as a statistic. You get $2,000. Do not pass go. Do not collect two. two th but anyway, you know what I'm saying. So you, you can make money off of it, but you've got to be like uh, 14 and giving makeup tips. 
If you're Alex Bennett, you're lucky if you've got three people listening, right? Uh, I mean, I have uh, I have a handful of people now. How many do I have? Oh, okay. Well, it's okay. It's all right. It's doing all right. You know, for me. So um, I, uh, I stopped doing what happened is on... There, there's an advantage and a disadvantage. Let me take a little side trip here. There's an advantage and a disadvantage to doing YouTube. And there's an advantage and a disadvantage to doing Facebook Live. And finally, balancing the two together, I decided that I would give YouTube a try, YouTube Live a try, which, of course, you're all watching this on right now. And it looks, I'm sure, better to you than it uh, than it did uh, uh, when it was over at Facebook Live because it is a cleaner picture. Uh, metrics wise, their picture is a better picture on YouTube. Uh, the negative to it is that when you when I do something on Facebook Live, every time I do something on Facebook Live, it goes on people's news feed. Alex Bennett is now live, and I had like five thousand people who were following me on Facebook, which was the maximum, so that all those 5,000 people on their news feed probably got a message that I was live, and that drove them over to watch it, which gave me, at the end of the night, fairly decent numbers, not huge numbers. If I told you what they were, they're nothing in comparison to what I used to get on radio, but they, they, were, high, they were high enough. Now I go over to YouTube, okay, and YouTube... I only have like 403 subscribers, and now I think I have more now. We, we, we've upped it a bit here, finally, um, because I went online and I said, would you please subscribe? By the way, there's a button probably somewhere when you're watching this. Maybe not. I hope there is. Uh, that, that says um, subscribe, or you can just go after the show's over Go uh, and uh, on YouTube and search for Alex Bennett. When you get to that Alex Bennett page, there is a subscribe button. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. What happens when you subscribe is every time I'm on the air, you get an email saying that I'm on the air. And that's the way they tell it. But you see, it's the difference between the 5,000 people who all get it on their news feed and the 450, 460, I don't know what we're up to now, who will get a little email when I'm on the air. So I want, and also if I get a thousand subscribers, I can do a lot of different things. I can monetize this in certain ways. I can do all kinds of things. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very important that you subscribe because if we can get up to a thousand, we get super chat and there was something else that I got too, that it's some kind of monetization thing that would start to maybe even paying a little bit of money. I have no idea. But we need a 1,000 subscribers. It's a long way away, and I doubt if we're going to get it. Well, anyway, I, so I beseech you to get to subscribe. Go to all your friends. Send a tweet around. Send a Facebook messages around saying, go over there and sign up for Alex Bennett's uh, YouTube. Uh, because it, that will help us if we get up to a thousand. It will it will put us into a territory that's you know that's that will get us some some stuff out of out of uh, YouTube. Anyway, I, forget that part of it. You know, I, I'm happy. I got I got what 26 people right now. You know, watching the video. Maybe maybe we don't know. Because but then after the show is over, I look at the number of people and where before I could sometimes get upwards to like 500 people in a in a in a in a two hour period, and all of a sudden I'm seeing 103 because it's a whole different metric here at YouTube. And uh, so the question is, do I then go back to Facebook? But if I go back to Facebook Live, I don't get certain advantages. I'll tell you the advantages I've got. Number one. You can take this page and you can uh, tack it to your browser so that every time you bring up your browser, one of the pages is this page. And any time we're on, it just suddenly uh, will start playing the, the video. Uh, and yeah, and, and, and also I can put this, if you, if you don't want to see this on YouTube pages, 
And you can go over to Gabnet Law, Gab, Gabnet.net, okay, which is our, our web page. And right there is uh, the uh, video playing. In fact, if you go over there right now, Gabnet.net, you'll see this video playing there. So these are the advantages of YouTube. They technically outweigh anything over at Facebook Live. They're, they're, a, they're just kind of like a rinky-dink organization by comparison. These guys know all about video and about allowing you to embed that video and so on. So I can put it on Gabnet.net. Or you can then uh, you can just uh, you know go to uh, if you uh, go to facebook.com forward slash bolo bennett forward slash live boom you're on the page that also will play it so so what am I tr what am I trying to say here oh, please I'm begging you subscribe yeah so then I I go and I look and this this gets to be the dep depressing part. I go over to see what kind of uh, viewership we're getting on gabnet.net. So I go over and I plug in all the stuff and I look at the statistics and I don't know. It's like in the month of January, we had the lowest month we've ever had. We have about, we lost about two thirds of the amount of people that go over to gabnet.net and I'm, try, I'm scratching my head trying to figure this one out. Some of the other numbers are high enough. Uh, the, how many people watch a certain, uh, they don't necessarily go to the website, but they do listen to the streams, whether it's uh, uh, on um, uh, uh, YouTube, you can go, uh, you, rather not YouTube, on uh, iTunes, you can go to it there. So we have a lot of other metrics there, and those numbers are, they're okay. You know, they're not, they're not that off from what they were. Okay, but that overall number of people going to the website was down precipitously. And I'm trying to figure out why. And a number of things happen at the website. Number one, you used to go to the website and you could automatically hear the, uh, uh, the audio. Uh, I could put that back on, but what happened was I, I paid 189 bucks for three years or a year. Or, how many years? I don't know how many years, three years, something like that, to get a secure site. Uh, and and so when you have a secure site, that means that when people come to you and they want to do things with credit cards or anything like that, it's secure for them. Also, uh, you're not subject to a warning from Google on Chrome saying, hey, this is a not trusted site or whatever. So I, des I decided to do it. But the, what I had to give up for that was that automatic 24-7 feed because the 24-7 feed was coming from a non-secure site, okay, and so when you played it on my side, if it played automatically, it automatically killed the security clearance that I got. So, you know, why should I even have the security clearance if every time you come to my page, it disappears? So I had to get rid of that. I replaced it with TuneIn. And uh, you, you can play TuneIn. And I don't know if you lose the security doing that. But anyway, what below it, there is a, there is a thing saying, you know, for uh, Netscape, and no, for Netscape, what am I saying? For Safari users and, uh, and others, uh, you click here and you'll go to a, you, you get a little button, you get a little page up the top of your page if you're using, well, if you're using Safari or you're using Chrome that has the audio. And that isn't secure, but the rest of the site remains secure. So that's how that works. But since people don't come to it and automatically get the audio, they probably, a lot of them stopped coming just for the audio because there's so many other ways. They could go to my Facebook page, as an example, and get all the information they needed. They could go there and get all the links to videos and blah, 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 and, and they can even get the videos which are there. So, uh, and then yesterday, I every night after the show, for you people who still want to go to my Facebook page, I post the show. And the night before, it got about 100 viewers, okay, and that's good. That's why it's there. Yesterday, it got like 17, 18 viewers. And I'm going, what is happening here? And then last night, the last couple of nights, uh, about the last three or four nights, Citizen Panel has been sparse. And I'm going, what has happened here? Am I doing something wrong? Uh, should I just give up the ghost. I mean, uh, are people just suddenly sick of what I'm doing and what we are doing here at GabNet? 
And I just can't believe that would happen overnight. But I don't know why we haven't been, you know, why we've been having to beg for callers. Because usually, and this was even in January when it said we didn't have large numbers. I was getting, you know, to the, the, a full, what we call a full house and many times a royal flush, uh, which is like 10 people plus me. So I, I just don't know, and I'm, I'm sitting here with just scratching my head, although I haven't scratched my head, so that I, I'll do it just so you can, you know, uh, see that I scratched my head if you're watching us. If you're listening to us, this doesn't even matter to you. What are people writing, by the way, here? Uh, it's a done deal last year that YouTube and Google cut ad payments to its creation. Oh, okay, well, it, it doesn't matter. I don't expect I would ever make the kind of numbers where I would make the kind of money that some people are making. But that one girl I told you about, you know, with the makeup tips, uh, the 14-year-old, 15-year-old, 100 million hits. So she must be making some money. Uh, um, did Sirius pay you real money like analog radio? Um, uh, well, yes. Um, well, not me. Uh, I made much more in analog radio because uh, I, I made a lot of money for the radio stations. At Sirius, you didn't have a negotiating power because they don't know how many people are listening to it. They really don't. They know how many subscribers they have, but they don't know how many people are listening to it at any given moment, and they don't know what they're listening to. They, they're, they are... What is... What, wait a minute. What is this? All of a sudden... I couldn't find real money like now on radio. What? How did how did Siri suddenly decide that I was saying something? Should, don't listen in, Siri. You're a budinsky. Uh Anyway, where where was I? Oh, so um, uh, um, uh, I, you know, I, so you you really don't have a negotiating power at Sirius unless you're a star, unless you got a name, and they just they drool over names because they think they can do broadcasting. So they, but they can't really, not really well. Listen to Jenny McCarthy sometime. You'll see what I mean. Anyway, um, so uh, the point I'm making here is, is that uh, uh, it, yeah, it, it, uh, Forbin, it it is. It's it did, did not pay pay as well. Uh, let's see, 448 subscribers urge people to hit the bell for instant notification when you go live. Hit the bell for instant notification. When we go live, hmm, where, where is that? I don't know about that. Alex, you are at 448 subscribers. Right. Two more and we'll be at 450. Well, uh, uh, the, the race is on. We're, we're going to try and do it. Let's see here. Uh, Alex Bennett created Phil Meyer. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, Forbin says Play TV. Yeah, you remember that. Uh, let me see here. Any more things anybody's writing? No, just uh, Tommy Amaguchi writes, saying serious much. Of, oh, that was it. I said Siri. I said serious. No, it isn't going now, but you're probably right, Tom. You're probably absolutely right. But anyway, so these numbers get me really dismayed and make me wonder if, you know, if I'm just playing to like five people and they're having a good time and I'm duping myself into believing that I've, I, I, I'm still in the business when I'm really not. And so that kind of depression then leads to the feeling of, I think maybe I should close GabNet down. You know, I mean, what? But then I went, I, you know, I paid for the name for the next three years. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, and uh, uh, also the security clearance too, that thing, you know. So I don't know. I don't know. I just I just keep saying I should just stop doing it. And girlfriend said, if you stop doing it, you'll die. You know, you need to have this. And uh, yeah, but it is it is humiliating to not being able to have the kind of audience that I'm used to having. You know, uh, I have to admit that at one at one full felt swoop, we get more people watching on YouTube. Uh, than we did over at, by about a third, maybe double what we used to get at uh, at Facebook Live. But at the end of the night, it's not as high. It's just anyway. So I'm uh, number one, subscribe, and number two, call as part of the citizen panel, will you? Because if this continues, where we don't get callers, 
uh, I, I, I will seriously consider uh, uh, pulling the plug on this whole deal, or at least pulling the plug on this, this show. Um, but uh, I made a bold choice by going to uh, YouTube, uh, and it's, it's a, uh, I hope it is a, 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 what do you call it, a strategic choice I've made that will, uh, Im, you know, uh, be worthwhile. Okay, so that's that's what the whole thing is about. Anyway, I've opened the lines. If anybody has noticed, I doubt if they have noticed, but I have opened the lines. And uh, uh, you can call if you want to on Skype. Uh, you go over, if you want to find out how to do that, go over to gabnet.net. Don't worry, you won't miss the show. You'll see it there as well. And uh, just uh, look over on the right-hand side, and it tells you all the things about Skype and how to get Skype and where you're going to get Skype and who's going to give you Skype. And, uh, you know, and then we'll sit here and wait and see if we can get any amount of people calling us tonight. Because if this continues like this, I'm, as I say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull the goddamn plug. In fact, if I don't get callers fast, I'm going to pull the plug. I just, I just go in the other room and watch all my shows. Uh, so anyway, mm. Mm -hmm. so I have, I'm sitting here waiting. The lines are open. Uh, there's no Phil, there's no Scott, there's no, uh, who else? Uh, so I'm sitting here. Jeff, Jeff is calling now. I noticed he just went online that I can tell. Okay. So if it's Jeff and I, it's Jeff and I, yeah. Jeff's an intelligent man. I can have a good discussion with him. Uh, I'll bet he be there. He is. See? Oh no, there's Scott Boddicker. What do you know? Scott Boddicker is the first one uh, out of the box, as it were. Ah. Oops, there, there he is. There. Okay, what are you, what are you doing? You're moving around. Now you're frozen. There you are. Okay, you, you. Is, is, yeah. Are, are people are people using your uh, are people using your bandwidth tonight as well? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Wait a minute, hold on a second. I gotta get this. I shut the YouTube off. I can't figure out how to shut the YouTube off. Wait a minute, I gotta get the there we go. Now I Oh, you gotta you gotta shut the YouTube off? Yeah, yeah. I watch on YouTube and then I gotta go Isn't that right. picture terrific on YouTube? It's a lot better than the Skype, I know that. Yeah, yeah, it really looks it really looks good. That's that's why that's why I'm happy with it, you know. Uh, I'm just not happy with the, with, with the, uh, you know, with the fact that I think a lot of people don't know where I am yet. Uh, so it, it'll take a little bit of time to figure that one out. Hello, Jeff. Hello, <laughs> Phil. Hey. Hey, thank you. You're, you're all here. At least you make me feel good at the beginning of the show. Let's see if we can add to these numbers. Uh, Tony's probably not talking to me today. Uh oh. Why he send you another uh, picture of his uh, yeah, dog he, or something? He, he, he didn't just send me a picture of his dog. Yeah. He sent. He put the picture on my Facebook page, not as a Fair message. Enough. Not as a message. Even though the other day, uh, when he sent me a message with a picture of the dog, I said no fucking dog pictures. <laughs> and then today he no put he, he put the picture on my Facebook page, and I just wrote him. And I, I began to wonder if it was the right Tony Magno, but I wrote him and I said, uh, do not, I repeat, do not send any more pictures of your fucking dog. <laughs> you know, he sent me a picture and said, Pebbles or whatever the name of this dog is. Coco. Huh? One's Coco and the other one, I don't know, I forgot the new one's name. I don't know. I hope we don't. He doesn't call to tell us, okay? You know, but he will. He will. <laughs> he will. We'll find out. Bree is calling from Dubai. Let's see if he can catch the line. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hello, Bree. Are you there? He's gonna have to try again, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, so I, so I wrote. I, I, you know, come on, don't. Uh, to begin with, I, hi, hi, Bree. You can hear us now. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you fine. Good. Uh, Bree is calling from Dubai in case you need to need to know. It's it's on a need to know basis. Uh, so anyway, so uh, uh, Tony probably is uh, probably pissed at me for saying you know 
Uh, don't put any pictures of your fucking dog on here. But I, I use that page to promote stuff. And when you put a giant picture, it wasn't just a small little tiny picture. It was a giant picture on the page. Everything below it, nobody pays attention to. All they see is this fucking dog and they go, what a mutt and leave. You know, it's not even a dog doing something cute like kitties, you know. Uh, he, you know. I don't let anybody post to my thing because my mother always had a comment to make no matter what somebody posted. So just to keep her, I had to block her. But, you uh, had to block your mother? <laughs> I blocked my mother. She doesn't know it, but uh, oh. <laughs> she just figures I'm not active. Boy, I wonder, I wonder what Freud would have said about that. <laughs> And uh, so Tony kept putting things on Messenger. He'd send me pictures of cereal boxes, uh, pictures yeah. of a dog sleeping in the bed, yeah. pictures, uh, um, uh, and and but not just one or two, thirty, and uh, you know like a machine gun. And it took a while till I could figure out how to turn yeah. off the sound on notification. Yeah. And uh, and you know when I uh, but before I did that, it was like a machine gun going off during the day when he was posting stuff because he was bored being in his warehouse. So instead of working for what he gets paid uh, to do, uh, he was sending emojis. And uh, I, you know, I'd had enough, so I, I blocked them. Emojis, and, by the uh, way, in case people don't know, emojis are not those little ice creams you buy that in the stores. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, I, I blocked them for a few months, and then I uh, unblocked them, and he's been a good boy. Uh, ever since. Ever since. Yeah. Well, yeah. I just don't want to see that fucking dog. I don't care. To him, to you, your dog is the cutest thing in the world, and I love that. We we have a cat that we love, okay? Yeah. And yeah. I've got to tell you, we have maybe in our iPhones 200 pictures of this kitty. And that's in addition to the pictures that the people who own the kitty send us every now and then. But I'm I, not, will, I only put one of them because like it was just a great shot on my site. Right. Well, take the 200 pictures, make yeah. one of those little photo uh, movie loops yeah. and stick it up on GabNet where you can just punch one of the buttons right. and get uh, all cat all day. You know what I found out? You know, there is a limit to how long you can go on uh, Facebook Live. I think it's four hours. Maybe, oh, really? Yeah, maybe it's two. I don't know. Uh, two or four. I, do you know what it is on uh, Facebook on uh, YouTube? No. There's no limit. I could go on and keep this thing on 24-7 for the next... Let's do it! Let's do it. Let's do a marathon, right? I have a 24-hour. Oh, but Alex... You get yeah. subscribers! <laughs> this will broadcast all over the internet! Yes, Bree. Well, you know, you, you send this show out in so many different ways that you fragment your own numbers i mean you were talking about like not having numbers but i always download on podcast addict and i listen on tune in yeah you don't have any way to to notice that do you uh tune in i can tell if you if somebody goes on on tune in i can tell he's using a stream you know so i oh, can so i can you, tell that i believe i've occasionally i've tested i've turned on tune in on my tv set for instance and then i came in here to see if the number went up by one and it did <laughs> But you know there is some there is some question as to how much of a of a reaction we get. Oh boy, uh, we got a problem here. Whoever's calling me, let me take let me take this, folks, just for a yeah, second. An old, uh... Let me see. Let me see. Uh, who who is this calling? Oh, Ray. Oh, that's Ray. Ray, hey, call Alex. call directly to Gabnet Live. Do not call on a previous uh, 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 group. Sorry. Let me hang up. They, yeah. Why don't you hang up and I'll call you right back. How's okay. that? Go All ahead. right? All right. Yep. I'll hang up on him and then I will. Uh, let me see here. Uh, well, wait a minute. Uh, oh, he's going to have to call me back, I guess. Uh, what the fuck? Ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's Ray Renati. Let me see here if I can add him. Let me see here. I can't add him. Hmm. Uh, Ray, you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to call me back. Uh, call me back. Call me. Okay. Let me see here. All right. Um, um, that's that's a problem. Uh, I don't know why I can't do it to you, Ray, but everybody else I can do it to. So anyway, let me let me go back to resuming the call with these people. 
resume call. Again, there a we lot. go. There we go. You guys were talking. With, you guys were you know? talking to each other while I was talking to Ray Renati. Ray, it, it call us again, but use uh, uh, you know, Gabnet Live. There we go. Add to group. There we go. Here comes Ray Renati. All right. We're that worked. Yeah, that hey. worked. That's the way you okay. do it. If you go back and use a previous discussion that we did or a conference group we did, then you can't get on here. It just I see. brings up okay. the other one. Uh, and also turn on your camera so we can see you. Oh. So, you know, we, you never know. There you, we go. You're always looking for parts and people can see what you look <laughs> like, you know. Anyway, um, uh, and I don't know if Bree wants to turn on his camera or not. Sometimes it's too early in the morning there and he's in these yeah. like pajamas or whatever. And, yeah, it's too <laughs> early. Yeah. Well, now this is getting to be more like it. This is a citizens panel, folks. Okay. Well, and Alex, yeah, you have to give it some time to, to get there. You're, <laughs> I mean, yeah. you open up the phones, and within 30 seconds, you're complaining. You know, when I first <laughs> when, when I first started when I first started doing this, though, how fast were the citizen panels formed? I usually got all nine in the first five minutes. You know, oh, yeah. But the novelty has worn off. Oh, here comes Renee. So what we've got here, folks, if you look carefully, Ray, you're calling from where? California, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so is Phil. Then we got, in Connecticut, we've got uh, Jeff Stein, okay? And then in Texas, Scott Boddicker. Then in Dubai, we've got Bree. And then we've got Renee in Hawaii, if she'll just turn on her camera, you know? And we can I'm, see her. I'm trying. And the big deal is, is, A, I'm on my iPad, but B, there's a whale over there. <laughs> well, how's that affecting your? How's that? She's having a whale. How's that affecting your band? How's that affecting your bandwidth? <laughs> Blocking oh, the cells take up a ton of bandwidth. Yeah, but if you can't turn if you can't turn on the iPad camera, then it doesn't I'm do us a lot of good. It. What? I'm looking for. See, it has a little camera logo. Does that? There work? we go. There we go. Whoa. There we go. Now we got your. Oh, 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 oh there we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, uh, see the sunset line. When yeah, but, the sun is coming down. Yeah, yeah, but you got you got to. No, you're you too gotta, high. You got to frame it better. <laughs> Move it down. The there you go. There. That's good. Oh wow. boy. Well, right over there on the right hand side. And the right hand side is a whale. Well, it was. Whales kind of don't stay put. I've been but told that. Was. If they don't move, <laughs> they die. I think, don't they? I think so too. Uh, yeah. They're eating pr uh, a lot. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I went whale watching uh, in Monterey Bay uh, in October, yeah. and it's amazing. There, there was hundreds of whales out there, and uh, you, you can tell when they eat, uh, there's a smell uh, when they eat yeah, all those they, sardines they, well, in, one, yeah, whale, in one swoop. Whale farts. Ooh. Whale oh, farts. whale fart, exactly. <laughs> whale farts, they're the worst. <laughs> and I was in an, in an inflatable boat. Uh, that had like six people in it, and I'm uh, two feet from the water and ten feet from the whales, yeah. and uh, it was great. Look, but you could you could tell, yeah, uh, each whale had had a certain amount of breath that it would take before it would dive down, and then you'd get a fluke shot. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it turns out killer whales can mimic people like a parrot. I heard that the other day. They, I heard a bunch of whales saying hello, and they all had different voices. Yeah, they can say Amy and bye bye. Yeah. Wow. Really? Well, I uh -huh. didn't know that. Now I've been told something I don't know. But, well, but, I heard one whale was like, hello. And then the other, another whale in the same pod had a really deep voice. It was like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. What is it? Captivity? These, these were whale, uh, uh, orcas in captivity? or? Yeah, I don't know if they were in I think so, yeah. It yeah. must have been. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's going to put a lot of actors out of work for animated films. They could just use the real animals. <laughs> yeah. The Not only problem, well, what the only we, problem is, is Trump isn't going to kill. He he will kill off all of them at this particular point. So. Do you think he's going to kill yeah, off all of them? I think the cougars ones? are uh, extinct yeah. now in Pennsylvania. Uh, they're not extinct here in New York. They still go out with well, young guys. Damn. So it's. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> There's Did plenty of the Miami Beach. Bears? What? Did you hear about the polar bears? What about the polar bears? Well, it was on N. Yeah, go ahead. Well, somebody tell me about the polar bears. <laughs> well, I know their penises are getting smaller. <laughs> that I do know about the polar bears. Really? Yeah, yeah. 
So well, I mean, how did you know that firsthand? Uh, you can't blame your problem on global warming, though, Phil. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I blame it on an expanding waistline. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, boy, you know what looked really nice? It, it, because this is what we call in photography the magic light. Magic hour. Yeah. Magic hour. Well, I called, uh, heard it called the magic light, okay? Yeah. And is what this it is, is Emmy Award winning guy, the magic light? No, it's the magic hour. No, it, it's the, the magic gold, hour. It's the golden for, hour, actually. It's the it's magic the, hour for still photographers, for motion picture no, photographers. It's, it's, it's the magic light. <laughs> Yeah, and what it yeah. is is when the light is, is when the sun is going down and it kind of casts. Hold the camera steady there, uh, so I can show what I'm saying. It, it causes it causes uh, a, a certain look to everything. And it's the best time of day. It's the best time of day to shoot. It's, it's very a golden warm. glow. Yeah. You either get that at night or you get it at, at first thing in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. As the sun's coming up. Yeah. It's only like 15 minutes each time. Too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Now, how much? Let me ask you this, uh, 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 Renee. Uh, how much of that land do you own? Well, you see the white fence there, right? Yeah. If you go over this way to that hill over there, and you see that tall tree over there, and then yeah. the little one over there. That's mine. Really? And then it goes behind us, and then it comes to the driveways right here. So it's not yeah. like it's that big. So it's you only five. But you could put another. You could put another house on that property, couldn't you? I can right over there on that point that I, I'll show you in a second. The yeah. reason I'm bringing you over here is because if we're like remotely lucky. Yeah. Let me can... let me enlarge the picture. Hello to Patrick. Wait a minute. Let me enlarge the picture so people can see that. And now because we've got this beautiful, gorgeous video that we get with uh, with uh, uh, YouTube. Look how gorgeous, folks. Hold it still so we can they, Oh, You there. need a steady cam. Yeah. Well, okay, so number one, the clouds are in the way, but that's where all the telescopes are. Where, where the clouds are. Where the clouds that's, are. That's where all yeah, the... If yeah, if palm trees in the past there, there's five telescopes up there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I'll walk you back around. Sorry. Okay, so you're going to walk right. us back around because I've got your full screen here so that they're... They're seeing, you know, they see the so strip of everybody. In about in five minutes, about. when that sun goes down over the uh, over the water, uh, you'll that's when you'll get the golden. Palm. Right. Yeah. So you'll see the palm trees kind of. Pop. The sun's just so coming up here. Will pop. The, oh. <laughs> the sun is just coming up there. Well, that works too. So that's you can get the golden hour, uh, and Renee can in get the, the golden hour. Uh, okay. Time. See, see the. All right, now you now you're freezing because because I think you uh, okay you kind of you got to get back into Wi-Fi. Okay, so you're gonna point somewhere, right? Yeah, see that tree right there? Okay, yeah. That's that other hill is mine. Okay, so, so you could you could basically put another house right there, yep. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. I, I read yurt. something about those five acre lots i thought that they were uh, limited to one house per five acre and that those were the lots that were allowed to use the country club mm -hmm. and then uh when people would rent them out as airbnb uh <laughs> the country club had a big uh, a big to do and didn't want to let yeah. the uh them get, use it yeah. is that is that correct yeah get the sun uh, a little more towards the top of the picture because th that way we can you know okay, because i've on. got all it the it takes a little while I know you, you you're freezing a little bit because you're using losing your Wi-Fi. Oh, there's the white fence. We see it down there. See that, folks? Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you do you see the gully right here? Oh, we just we we there we go. Right here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. The trouble yeah, is better? the trouble is that when you're out there, you're losing a bandwidth a lot. And oh, look at that sunset. Look at that. Now, just just everybody gasp. Okay. Uh, uh. Wow. Hey, Renee, Beautiful. is the fence is that fence a Trump design? <laughs> yeah, the, the asshole. Yeah. Asshole. Yeah. You got the wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. this a big island? It, it, it is the big island. Yeah, I think I know where this is. I was just over there a little while ago. Oh, great! Uh, so you're on yeah. my island? That's great. yeah. Yeah. Where did you? Ha where were you most of the time? Did you go see the volcano? Uh, yeah, we went up there. We went, um, well, we were staying at the gigantic Hilton, you know, the one that has like 
eight buildings taking up like three miles. We, we, it was yeah. like a, one of those. Um, yeah. What do you call it? Uh, when they try to sell you the membership. Let me add uh, Rob Alfano to the group. Time there share. we go. Deal. There's. Yeah, I, there. I didn't buy one, but we got. There, there's one. Rob. I got Rob beside uh, beside the uh, the. Uh, um, what, but look Is at that. that. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah. Now, just everybody say we need a whale to show up because this is where they show up. Yeah. Whale. Yeah. You need a teller. If uh, Airbnb is like cut into timeshares. Yeah, I've got Rob yeah. right next to her now, so we've got the picture a little smaller, and so people can get a better idea of the the the, the whole picture. Hello, Rob. Hey there. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. How about you? How's everybody? Uh, fine. Fine. Yeah. Have you have you checked out our YouTube uh, feed? Uh, not tonight. I haven't. Yeah. Did you check it out last night? No. Oh, well, you I, should check I, it out. It listen. looks, it looks phenomenal. Is it happening right now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yep. No, it's, it's, you know, this is live what? on YouTube. Oh, cool. You if know, you go to the GabNet page, Ray, uh, yeah. it'll, it'll be a live, a live feed there. Go to GabNet.net oh, okay. and the live feed is there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's, what? Oh, listen to the birds. Oh, wow. oh, this is awfully nice. This is awfully nice. Well, let's start discussing some stuff. Let me start bringing people back in here. There's a little Jeff, and there's a little well, Scott. Well, I got something to discuss. Uh, okay, there's Bree, there's Ray, there's Patrick, and uh, get, make me smaller here. And uh, let me see here. Let me also do one other thing here. Uh, just, uh, yeah, you got something, Bree? What do you got for us? Yeah, I, I don't know if you guys have heard of this. There's a film called uh, I went to see called Padmav, uh, Padmavati, Padmavat, uh, Padmavat. Is, is that the yeah, film about? Is that the film about Islam? Um, not really. It's oh. Hindu. It's it's out of it's oh, coming oh. out of Bollywood with Deepika Padukone, mm -hmm. and. Uh, a lot of people are very upset about it in India. It's been, it gets two or three articles in the paper every day. Why, and apparently, why, why are uh, people bothered by it? Hmm? Why are people bothered by it? Well, it it apparently depicts a goddess within the Hindu religion, uh, and her Vishnu. No, um, Padmavat. Gods. Rani Padmavati. Really? Okay. So and, you guys uh, haven't heard of it? No. Uh, but, no. but then again, I'm still wow. catching up on the Kama Sutra. No, but then again, <laughs> well, here in the United States, we get more bothered by other things. You know. Check yeah. check out the trailer. I thought the cinematography was some of the best I've ever seen. What's it called? What's it called? Uh, Padmavat. Pa P A D M A A V T. Oh, I got it. And is it in? Is it? Is there an English language version of it? Oh, look at that! Subtitled. That. Hold on it's a second. Oh, well, the I, photos beautiful. I, I, I just yeah. I just had to take a breath because that photograph, uh, that video of uh, of her that she's got in Hawaii is just breathtaking. Hey, Alex, what do you think about Hawaii now? Well, <laughs> it's going to get prettier in about well, about three or four minutes when the sun gets a little lower through this yeah, yeah. Alex had some uh, very definite views about Hawaii. Well, uh, I, yeah. I, it's just it, things like ukuleles and uh, and, <laughs> and, and 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 um, what do you call it? The steel guitar. You know that. It, it, boing, boing, boing. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Huh? They're very nice. They're relaxing. Uh, yeah, oh, but yeah, sure they are. Ukuleles it sounds, it, aren't it, it sounds like a sound effect of something like losing a hamstring or something in a cartoon. Uh, it's but, Don Hope. Boing, I miss Don Hope. Boing. Tiny bubbles yeah. in my wine. Yeah. Yeah, that's all over with. Yeah. Yeah. It's sung to us by a real professional. Uh, and, <laughs> and, 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 and we're a bunch of guys, Renee, and we're all bothered by a hoe dying. So, you know... <laughs> Hey Patrick, how you doing? I'm I'm doing doing just dandy. You know, you're you're in, you're looking good in YouTube. The YouTube is just sensational. The, I think Patrick is the best camera. Look at that. Yeah. Can I, can Super I make eight. A exception, Alex? Yes. Um, <sighs> when you when you used to use Facebook Live, yeah, it would notification immediately that you were going to go live. Yeah. There's 
jack shit that happens now that you're on YouTube. Well, if you, you have, if if you sub- you have to know that. So <laughs> unless you manually put out every night, I'm gonna be on YouTube. People there won't is, know it. Well, there is a notification that you can get on YouTube, and uh, I'm going to ask my friend Matt how he does it, uh, because when he goes he, he goes live on YouTube uh, at no specific time, and you just get this notification, Matt Granger is now live on uh, YouTube. Right, yeah. but, I, but, I'm, but I'm saying to do it so on it Facebook. works on Facebook Well, well I don't know if you said... I don't know if you subscribe to me on on Facebook, uh, on YouTube, but if you subscribe to me, you will get an email telling you I'm on. Uh, is that how it works? Yeah, that's one form of notification. I don't know about the other notification. Uh, well, I'm a subscriber for my friend's uh, thing, so I don't know. Maybe that's how I'm, uh, I'm getting it. Oh, I now have 451 <laughs> subscribers. We got three people so far tonight. So anyway, but no, I know that that's one of the drawbacks, uh, Patrick. But I got to tell you, the video is superb, and it never oh, yeah. it never goes. Just, you you could manually just before you go on the air, just put out a notification oh, I, I on do. Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I do, but it doesn't go out the same way. Does, see, with the notification on Facebook was it went to all the five thousand people and it wound up on your news feed, right? Yeah, uh, and that doesn't happen here. But supposedly there is an email that goes out to everybody saying I'm on, I'm live right now. But that you know that can be annoying too because many times I want I, I would go and test Facebook Live as an example, and all the people, all five thousand people would see on their thing, hey, you know, Alex is live, and I'm not. I was just testing something, you know. And they go over there, and you know, it's me and naked trying to fix something. Could you, know. you uh, test it on a different page? No. You know, a, no. Yeah. no. Uh, the machine knows where your IP address is, so you need somebody who's not near you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, uh, you know, uh, there, there are positives and there are negatives, and we're still getting through them. I mean, I may go back to Facebook Live, but looking at this picture every night and, and how nice it comes up on, my, on gabnet.net, uh, I got to just say, hey, you know, this really beats what I had before. It's just a matter of getting the word out, that's all, and how well, we get you know, the word the out. Well, the thing about Patrick, why don't you take the New Year's Eve countdown where the numbers come across your screen and put it on you and put it on your web, the Gabnet site saying that you're about to go live in three, two, one. Well, we actually do have that on the Gabnet okay, page good. right under this video is a timer that's counting down till we're on the air with the video, and it says so that. And then, and then when we, then we're finally on 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 live. Uh, we're uh, uh, it says Gabnet is now live, so you know. But you're saying on Facebook, I can't do that. They have no provision for that. Okay. You know? So it, they listen. They I don't think they would love me anybody promoting YouTube. But I do. That's, if you go to the page right now, there's a link there to sit, talk, talk exactly how to do it and all of that, you know. And by the way, we've got a lot of people watching us right now, more than we've ever had on Facebook by at least double. Okay, so uh, I'm not unhappy with that. You know, so, so uh, where were the usual suspects uh, yesterday and the day before? Well, they, uh, they have lives, I guess. Uh, I've heard that, right, Rob? You've got a life, right? Beyond this, I try. Oh, by the way, I've got to send you some new scripts because I got to change that whole thing about uh, going to the web to our website and what's there because it's all changed. Oh, you know, would you mind doing another one? Just the voice. You can do the voice, and I'll, I'll add the music. Uh, Is uh, somebody got some wind? Yeah, I think she does. Me. Yeah. Hold on. That picture wants me makes me want to smoke a cigar right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's the temperature there, uh, uh, Renee? So I'm just wearing a dress. It's hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It didn't get below 70 last night, so everybody on the island's cranky because nobody got any sleep. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, if you may listen, Rob did a new uh, imager for us. It says celebrating four years. For Gabnet, because we just turned four years. Uh, four years. Yeah. And if, also, send me the audio only on that, would you? Uh, so I can just add some music to it and do a whole bunch of them. You know. 
I'll do that now while I'm. You know. Yeah. <laughs> are you talking? Are you talking about this Gabnet uh, graphic that has all the moving stars and stuff? Uh, that that's the graphic up above. That yeah. Down below oh. is the uh, video. Oh. oh, oh, right, right. Yeah, that yeah. looks great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. So. May, may I interrupt with a cat problem? See, you are yelling about Tony and Pebbles. Yeah. You know, animals sell merchandise. But I would like to tell you, take you just somewhere for two seconds and yeah. show you yeah. what my problem is. Because yeah. my cats keep bringing in those. Uh, what are those? Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, oh, is that a, is that a dead mouse? Yes. Well, <laughs> you know, there's nothing you can do about that. Oh please! It, they get three a day. You know, I know, I I know that you yell at the it cat, shows that they and, love and you. all the cat, all the cat is thinking, but I got it for you. Yes. You know, uh, but and you're also living in Hawaii. There are a lot of mice out there. Oh my God! But they bring it inside. I did no because they're bringing it. They're bringing it to show it to you. They're not bringing it in because they're trying to give it shelter. You know. <laughs> but that's I, the problem. I, Phil. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I don't know if it's just my uh, unit or if it's anyone else's. But the uh, it says the video is unavailable on Gabnet Live, even though it says Gabnet is now live underneath it. Oh, okay. Well, then why don't you refresh the page? I did. Uh, I'll try so to get. Who's, who's coming over here to clean up the damn mouse? <laughs> Can a vacuum? Oh, they don't yeah. go up. No, so I could hear them do that vacuum suck. Yeah. Well, only if they're still alive. I'm not having any problem. I'm not having any problem with that uh, with that video on Gabnet Live. So okay. mine's I'm working. Seeing, yeah, and his yeah. is working. Yeah. Did you just? That's fine. It, it, it may it may have just been mine. Did you refresh? Oh. Uh, I'm turning it off and then turning it back on. Why don't you just refresh? Uh, because when I refresh, there is sometimes it doesn't. Change. Oh well, okay. Well, any, anyway, uh, let's uh, let's talk about some things here. Uh, let me see here. First of all, have you heard the latest? Uh, they're making a big deal out of uh, uh, about Natalie Wood's death. And the, that's because yes, there's a new West Side yeah. Story movie coming out, uh, and I, no. this is a way to publicize it. No, no. It, it, it turns out that uh, they, uh, CBS is doing a, uh, 48 hours or something on the story that there's more and more evidence to lead people to believe that somehow Robert Wagner had something to do with it. Uh, uh. That's what they said when it first happened, and then they got off of that trip. I remember yeah, I, I years know. ago. They, they, yeah. But they now supposedly have more proof. The only thing uh, is, maybe they should lay off this story. Uh, just leave it in one place, Renee. Just leave it in one place so it's not jumping around a lot. People are going to get nauseous. Uh, well, I'm, so in a, in a couple second, minutes, I'm going to let you have your golden hour discussion again, uh, yeah. and I'll be able to you the difference in the bougainvilleas no we're going to golden showers as a discussion oh there you go <laughs> yeah yeah uh, no but anyway um i don't know why they suddenly brought this up about natalie wood now uh to begin with do you know how old robert wagner is now like 80 oh try 87 oh shit oh no yeah why not just leave it alone you know, because Natalie Wood would be part of the Me Too campaign. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Don't you think Christopher Walken probably knows exactly what happened? He probably has a good oh. idea. He 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 probably has an idea. Okay, he was yeah. on the boat, and so was the uh, the guy who was the, um, uh, the 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 captain of the boat. He was you know the what do they call him? The the, the boat driver. He's uh, a captain. The captain. The captain. The captain. Uh, and he, in this interview, said, oh, yeah, he did it. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> he said they got into a fight and he pushed her. You know, that's what happened. You know. And they did. Oh, yeah. Well, and she couldn't swim because she had terrible fear of water. So, uh, but he's 87. Maybe, but isn't that intent? Huh? Isn't that intent? Well, I mean, they, they, they're never going to be able to prove anything at this point, okay? If I, 
can't swim and I throw you in the water? All, all, that... they, all they can do is that we're living in a day and age where you can accuse somebody of something and usually it sticks. Okay? So he's going to have to go to his grave now having all America going, ah, oh, you killed Natalie Wood. Well, nobody... What about Chachi? Nobody says, hey, Kirk Douglas raped Natalie Wood. They never get into that one. You know. What about Chachi? Chachi. Well, that one... What happened to Chachi? He's a Republican. I, I don't like Chachi particularly because he is a Republican. Uh, but I think maybe he's being had in this deal. What do you, what do you think, Patrick? You're, you're, you're nodding your head no. You don't like him because he's a Republican. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I would just react. Well, I mean, come on. i got to be consistent. You know? What did Chachi do? Yeah, I didn't hear anything. Supposedly, this is actress that was on Charles in Charge, and uh, she was underage, and he had sex with her. And well, he says, well, "No, I never had sex with her." And quite frankly, she wasn't of age. I think when she uh, underage when she did our show, there were a whole bunch of mitigating circumstances in which he's just saying, "I just don't understand why this woman is making a, a big deal out of this now when nothing I really went on in the first place." She wants her five minutes. Well, that's what's. Minutes. But you see, that's what's happening now. The Me Too movement is ta uh, turned into the fifteen minutes of fame movement. That's you know, right. and and people and women. You know, these women. Women should hate these women because they're discrediting the Me Too movement. By we don't know that because she can't get a fair trial. What do you mean she can't get a fair trial? Neither can he. Today, when a guy is accused, Renee, when a guy is accused, he's automatically considered guilty. Did, did you see the guy, the the um, mayor of a town in Michigan, something yeah. called Water, like that? Yeah, what is his name? I thought it was the mayor in Nashville. No, yeah, it's Michigan. A, a woman was the mayor of a Nashville. Woman, oh, um, you're talking about somebody yeah. else. I'm sorry. Sat yeah. in a barrel of affair with uh, her security guard. No. I oh, don't. did she? And and it was and it was she. She was the one who made him do it. Is he claiming uh, rape? I, I think it was mutual. Oh, okay. So he's not claiming rape. Well, you see, if he if he if he claims rape, nobody will believe him. You see, I mean, <laughs> no. The point is, this is what I'm saying: is the the balance has gotten kind of wacky, where we yeah. are not applying the same rules to everybody. That everybody should be considered, and then we should then ferret out the truth from the from the lies. The yeah, see, instead, that's... instead, somebody accuses a guy in a uh, anonymous tweet, and he gets fired. This is the Humpty Dumpty syndrome. You know, he sat on the wall, and you want to knock him off. Yeah. And uh, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, the easier it is to accuse. Yeah. Boy, Steve Wynn was just a jackass. And you know all of Steve Wynn's stuff is true. Well, he's a guy <laughs> in the kind of power that I would imagine he would wield it uh, not no, no. flatteringly. You know? Especially where he is. He doesn't have Trump money. He has uh, kingmaker money. So... Yeah. Yeah, so this guy could wow. be an asshole for the rest of his, you know, for 30 years and nobody's going to challenge him because he's got kingmaker money. Define Trump money. What is it, a credit card? No, Trump <laughs> money is, is the low billions at all. Okay, wait. All right. So down, right hand side, lower near a tree. We've got some movement. Yeah, but you see, it's very hard for us to see. I know, I'm trying. Yeah. And I could blow it up and we still wouldn't be able to see it because, mm -hmm. you know, the cameras in those, uh, especially in the iPads, uh, are, yeah. are not what they should Alex. be. Alex. Yeah. Yes, one of the One of the things I have, a, like, I, I don't know how anybody else feels about this, but, like, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Rose McGowan now. Yeah. Because, I mean, she comes out with a book and a TV series. Yeah. Really? Make really? Off, but they made money off of her. How about your friend Wolf getting thrown off MSNBC? How low can you go? Who who got uh, who, who got thrown Wolf, off? That? The writer of that uh, Trump uh, Trump book. Yeah, uh, he got thrown off MSNBC. Why? Uh, uh, be, uh, during an interview, it seems as though Howard he, Kurtz. Uh, no, no, it was no with, it, it, uh, it's, with it's whoever the, the author of uh, Fury and whatever the name. Yeah, of the book. yeah, oh, it's Fire and Fury. Fire and uh, Furbies. Yeah, his name was Wolf. Uh, two Fs. It, yeah. And uh, so anyway, he's on the uh, talking to Mika Brzezinski, and he accuses Trump of having an extramarital affair with Nikki Haley. 
Uh, the, uh, you, uh, and so, and so uh, anyway, Mika Brzezinski says, you know what? Just get out of here. <laughs> You're off the air. <laughs> commercial. <laughs> and was, I probably, so, I probably, yeah, yeah, I would probably have gotten rid of him too because, you know, that opens you to uh, legal action. I mean, well, uh, Nikki Haley has less of a chance of suing than, say, uh, uh, I would if she went after me or he went after me or something like that. But nevertheless, He's still there's a legal ramification there because he's making a statement and now he's not backing it up. You know, he doesn't have proof. And then he goes on and he tweets that Mika Brzezinski, that Trump was right about Brzezinski, uh, you know, when he called her all of those things, trying to use uh, Trump's accusations against uh, Scarborough and Brzezinski as uh, proof that uh, she was wrong in throwing him off. Uh, but uh, it was an interesting day. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, you, you have to be careful when somebody is making claims like that that you distance yourself, and they did due diligence <laughs> they, by they getting rid really of them. Fast. <laughs> you know. Really fast. Yeah. But anyway, who? Are you, but you were talking about some some mayor, right? What did he? What is he accused uh, of doing? He, it was the mayor of Nashville, and uh, she had an no, extra no, 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 she, no. Renee was, was talking woman. about some guy. Who's a yeah, the guy was the head of her security detail. No, no, that's oh, not oh, what we're talking sorry. about. We're not talking about that. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Another Megan man. Berry. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. So, um, Michigan, yeah. where Dr. Nasser was, that township where all of the girls went in to tell them that they have been distraught and 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 all of these wonderful things from the camp, the police department in that town is where all those girls had to go. And not one of those little fuckers believed that those girls at all. So today, the, the man up in front of the, uh, up in front of the television and started bawling his eyes out because he felt bad that he didn't believe any of those girls when they came into the police department. Renee, was that the Caroli, the Caroli Ranch where they trained? Uh, I, no, it's the mayor. So I guess the Caroli Ranch is in this place called Water. I'll, I'll tell you, but, uh, Renee, do us a favor and just put that, if you can, put the iPad down so we can get a nice yes. still shot of that because you're moving around so much I, that it's not... Still wants Whale. It's not fun to watch. No, we're not going to see the whale. Okay, not oh. not with not with an iPad camera, uh, okay. and that far away. Just let us just oh. let us relax. I see the whale. Oh, wait a minute, that's dust. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's out there crying about how bad it was that he didn't believe those women, and it was so awful, and and he felt so bad. And I'm like, how many women had to go yeah. into that police department? to tell you that this was a bad man and you didn't do shit about it. Right. And here he is now crying his eyes out. It was disgusting. What do you think about um, Hillary Clinton not doing anything? About? Oh, uh, the Stanford for the work for her? Yeah. She, oh. she, you didn't hear this? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's all guy. over the news. She, back in 2008, during her campaign, there was a woman on her staff uh, and a man who was harassing this woman, touching her, kissing her, um, and she came forward and, and Hillary basically reassigned her, reassigned him, yeah. uh, no, reassigned her. her, and him, they sent him off to some course or something like that but he just kept doing his job and now she took a lot of heat for that she didn't take responsibility for it and then eventually she came out and said the right thing but it was after like the third try by the well, way we've, we've been joined wait a minute hold on a second we've been joined by uh, by uh, johnny parulis uh, do i pronounce that correctly johnny yeah that's correct parulis yeah, yeah. you could call me john oh, okay john you, you just whatever I you put up on the screen that's what i call you you know Hey, Alex, I think yes. a full house. A full house. Oh, we got man. a full house. Oh, boy, I feel yeah. better. And we have the highest number we've ever had on a video <laughs> show. We have more people watching right now than have ever watched one of our video presentations. How's that? Just out of curiosity with Woo. the Hillary thing, it sounded like she tried to follow procedure, you know, standard operating procedure. Then well, they would you know, no. No. Well, wait a minute. To begin with, the question is, how long ago did this happen? 2008. 2008. Okay. We're, you know, we have to start remembering that you 
the way to handle things it is diff was different in every different era going so back. Her, you know, I heard an argument. You mean like Kevin Spacey? Very, very well, easy to understand how Hillary, who supposedly was this beacon or this this, she always made a career of standing up for women, has done ex exactly the opposite, and and that goes back to all of the discrediting that she did for all the women. Yeah. Uh, uh, you Came know, oh, Bill. Bill? Bill? Right. Yeah. All of the, all of those women, she went out of her way to discredit them. Yep. So there's, there's a, there's a cogent argument, argument to be made that she is no better than anybody else. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. But I don't think she was ever selling herself to be better than anyone else. Oh yeah. No. Wait a minute. Who is? Yeah, is selling themselves. Once you do that bit with Bill Clinton and say, "I love him, I must stand behind my man." Once you do that, you don't have a whole lot of anything left, really, as far as women on women go. Opportunistic is why she stayed with him. Uh, you know, and exactly, she would have never been Secretary of Defense if she didn't. Uh, she shook his pound of. Wouldn't blood. have been a senator either. Yeah, absolutely. She wouldn't have been a senator. Well, if he hadn't been sleeping with those women. You know, if she had left him, she would have probably wound up having more sympathy as the years went yep. on and went forward absolutely. than she did by not leaving him. Uh, yep. The only positive value of staying with him was as a lesson to the American public that you can work through your problems and keep your family together. Yes, Patrick. Patrick has his hand. No. Up. That's not <laughs> What? As much as it pains me to give Hillary any credit, I do believe that if she would have left uh, Bill and gotten divorced after he was out of the White House, because I understand she probably wouldn't have wanted to upset Dad, but I do believe on her own merit, she would have been able to become a senator, and she would have possibly become Secretary of State. Because I think she had the political um, feistiness and know-how, and the um, and I think she knew all the right people. I think she could have done it. I disagree. I think it was Bill Clinton that had the political acumen to get her to where uh, she she got. And if it wasn't for yeah. him, she'd still be an uh, an attorney in some uh, pro bono law firm. Yeah. I, I don't know. Oh, by the way, by the way, side by side now on your screen, ladies and gentlemen is Bree, who's showing us his picture now from Dubai. Yeah. He's showing it on a map. <laughs> and then we have oh, Renee in Hawaii. Yeah, you know, Dubai. you know, when I was a kid, there was a show called NBC's Wide Wide World. And they did a big show once where they used the newly minted microwave relay to show both <laughs> coasts on the same screen at the same time. And we all mm -hmm. sat there as it was in black and white and kind of blurry and went, ooh. And now I'm sitting here, just me. I've got Dubai in one f frame, and I've got Hawaii in another, and I've got Connecticut, and I've got uh, uh, wherever over the uh, Contra Costa with the Phil. And, and where are you, Ray, again? You're Palo Alto. Palo Alto, oh, well. and then we've got uh, uh, Patrick in Wisconsin, and we've got uh, John. Where are you again, John? Marin, Marin Heaven, Marin this County, is heaven, a lot of California. And, 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 and uh, uh, Scott Boddicker isn't in his frame, but he's there. Mm -hmm. He's in Texas, and then Rob Alfano is down in, I always have trouble. With Virginia. This. Virginia. I got a question. Well, I always uh, have a tendency. Oh, there we go. See, now, we, uh, now we actually have a picture of Dubai. So there's Dubai in one picture and uh, right there. And there we have Renee in Hawaii. Wow. Yeah, I yes, got a question. But, oh, I have a question. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This, uh, John has a question. Yes, John. Sure. I see uh, on my screen a picture of like the sky or something. Is that is that God? I mean, are we are we uh, interacting with <laughs> yeah, God? Or something? Well, God is a special Hawaii. guest tonight on the program. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't want to offend him. He he gets cranky, you know. <laughs> that that photo was brought to you by the many Huna. Yeah, uh, there you go. Hawaii, right? And if, oh, and okay. if, if yeah. actually if Bree kind of put his camera up a little higher, we probably could see some building that has a high tower or something, right? Somewhere? No, 
There, you see, you can kind of see it there. Kind of looks like you live across the street from a garage, is what it looks like, Bree. Well, oh, here we go. Back to uh, uh, back yeah. the map. Yeah, back to back the map. Uh, anyway, um, Alex. Let, wait a minute. Uh, let, uh, what? Let's not change uh, the subject. This is a good okay. subject. I was going to change it, but go ahead. No, what I was just going to say is that how many here, by a show of hands, feel that Hillary Clinton might have won the presidency if she had dumped Bill when she I, should have? I might have. go with that. Huh? I'd say. Uh, yeah. Uh, anybody agree I or disagree? I, I agree with I agree with Patrick. I don't think she'd make it to Secretary of State, but I she could have done this on her own without that jackass. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I think he is a brilliant uh, strategist and uh, and is a brilliant politician, and I'm she brilliant. couldn't have been a dog catcher without him. Well, I, yeah, I, I, brilliant. I, I, brilliant. Yes, brilliant. yes, 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 Pat, yes Patrick's got his hand up. Patrick. No, I I don't necessarily disagree with you a hundred percent. The thing is, if she could have stayed married to Bill throughout the presidency and then divorced him, she would have had name recognition. And I think that would have taken her. That's what I was talking about is if they would have divorced after his second term, she, she could have become a senator, maybe not secretary of state. But her, I, her name recognition would have been that of a victim. Nobody wants a victim as a leader. And uh, uh, I, don't, I don't see it happening. Right. Boo, hiss. We have a jackass as a leader at the moment, and you think of Well, we, you know, you may think that, but nobody wants a victim. And, uh, you know, you, you don't elect somebody to be the leader of the free world because she, she's a victim. Uh, she for president. It would have only, it would have been the senator at that point, because that was the first position she had. Um, yeah, that's true. And from there, if she was successful, maybe move on to other things she and maybe... She wasn't but, that great of a senator, Patrick. You know, well, it, I, I agree. I'm just saying she yeah. could have made it without him. Because yeah, I think she could have been made without him. Yeah, I agree. Well, look, this is all a moot point because we don't know what she would have done without him and we don't know how it would have fe fe uh, played itself mm -hmm. out. I do think that it was her great failing that she didn't make some kind of decision back then. Uh, let me see who had their hand up first. Uh, first, uh, Rob and then mm -hmm. Patrick. Yeah. So I, I have a question for uh, uh, my. I'm drawing a blank. Uh, we haven't seen uh, you online in a very long time. Uh, Johnny, I think his name is. Huh? Johnny? Is it from Marin? No. No? Oh, Ray Renati. <laughs> oh, Ray? Uh, uh, Ray? Renee. Me? R Sorry. Ray. Ray. Oh, yeah. Renee. <laughs> Are you hey. Renee, with everything that's gone on, you haven't been on this program in a very long time, right? Uh, yeah. What are your thoughts on President Oprah? You know, she's 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 a kingmaker. She's got the money. I don't see why she can't have it if she isn't going to put the effort into it, and she doesn't go after things without putting the effort into it. Yeah. So she could easily have it. She's a kingmaker. She's yeah, but wouldn't what? wouldn't that be are the same mistake over again? Exactly. Yeah. Are, are we are we still in this where we think it's a popularity contest or do we really believe that people who are in government, you may think they're buffoons because they fight and they don't get anything done. And this whole thing that's going on with the FBI right now, that putting an amateur in there is going to do a better job. Somebody with, you know, who's been a talk show host or owned a television network or no experience. Really? You want that kind of a person to be? We, we've got it. We've got it now. What's the right? What's but we've seen the failure of that. No, we knew it was going to be a failure before it happened. With at least Oprah, she's got some sense of some idea of what it's like to be a regular person who had to scrap, who had to get money, who had to work for the money, who had to deal with all of this shit that women have to deal with. She went through all of that. What, what, what did Donald Trump do? He said he was from Scandinavia so that he didn't have to rent to, Jew, to black people. That that's how close he got to us is is when he rented apartments to us. But I still I I I, I still ask the question: just because someone can be close to us, does that mean that they 
they have what it takes to hold on to the nuclear codes and to manage foreign policy for this, not only for this country, but for this world, because we've been, up until now, we've been a leader in the world. Uh, Johnny just said, John just had his hand up. Yes, John. Yeah, you know, haven't we all seen enough of the actions of billionaires? Right. I mean, this country is being run by the 1%, by the billionaires. Yep. And tell me anything they have really done for working people in this country. I, we're talking about the Clintons. We're talking about anybody in that class. And they well, have now, done shit. They have done shit for working people, for the poor, for students. Uh, you you get Barack Obama, you have Hillary, you have Trump. It doesn't fucking matter who is in that high office. We st of we're still spending trillions of dollars on idiotic, illegal, stupid foreign wars when we should be spending that money in a big way for alternative energy, for forgiving all student debt. And until somebody comes forward, closest person to come forward and, and suggest so those things was Bernie. I was a Bernie supporter, but that he sold out. He sold his fucking soul. He, he embraced Hillary and he, he crashed and burned the hopes of a lot of young people who are following, uh, ready to support him. And he could have had it. The polls are showing that he could have beaten Trump. But the Democratic Party, led by the fucking Clintons, screwed him. Okay, that's oh, yeah. the truth. Okay, I so want. You guys I'm, are talking about yeah, Hillary Clinton. Yeah, I want. Well, I, I, I want. I mean, wait, hold on, Phil. I want to. I want to jump in on that. But first, I want Patrick's had his hand up for a while. And I don't want him to lose all feeling to that part of his body. Um. Well, actually, what what John was saying was the millionaire and out. Did anybody find it ironic that it was Joe Kennedy, Kennedy, who was refuting Trump? The other night, I mean, you've got white privilege bitching about white, white privilege. White privilege, you have a good point. Yeah. And my big thing when Hillary was running and when the and Republican had 40 candidates when they were running, I didn't want Bush, I didn't want Clinton, and I damn sure don't ever want to see another Kennedy in a presidency because we don't need the dynasty. And I just found it very ironic that a Kennedy would be, you know, um, bitching about a Trump. I mean, that's just, that was, I laughed. I laughed. Yeah. Well, he's obviously not a common person because he doesn't know how to apply lip gloss. Uh, or a uh, chapstick. Uh, by the way, you're getting a lot of wind there, Renee. I know. I should go inside. Probably you should go inside, but uh, we, we think, <laughs> okay. thanks for the wonderful view. Alex, you got Ray. Uh, yes, Ray. Ray. Oh, I just wanted to say something about Oprah. Um, so Oprah is a, a, a talk show host and an actress, yeah. and she's she's great at both. She's, an she's a producer, absolutely. Director. No, I know. She had a magazine. All right, so she had some business ventures as well. Um, now, that speech that she gave, everybody was ooing and eyeing and wow, wonderful. Well, that was a, 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 a practice speech from an actress who knows how to deliver Bingo. a speech Bingo. and, get, and nope. hit people's hearts. Now, if you go and you listen, go back and read the text of that speech, it was full of racist stuff. That is, was meant to incite people's emotions. She talked about Rosa Parks for no reason whatsoever. She talked about other things, and it was all about, it was all anti-white stuff. And it doesn't seem like that when you first listen to it because she's so charismatic and she's an actress and she knows how to deliver the speech, kind of like Ronald Reagan. Yeah. But go back, go back and listen to it and let, listen to what she's actually saying. It really scared me. It really bothered me, and I definitely would not want her... For president now that said i think she's an incredible actor i think I, I wish she would take more roles every time i see her on the screen she's amazing she does an amazing job as a talk show host she's a great you know producer and you but know act you know acting of the united yeah. states i just don't buy it well no what happens is if you if you were to make her president of the united states if you even insinuate that we should even in, involve ourselves in the notion i mean come on what are we gonna do speech. make the same mistake again 
You know, exactly. is it going to be the reality show host versus the talk show host? <laughs> right. I think it was. Right. That's I, how I, fucking uh, ridiculous exactly. our politics it, it was. Is. Uh, I think it was Seth MacFarlane on in one of his blogs that said that that bodes a dystopian future. That's kind of like the kind of future you win. Oh, this is a great parody. We got a talk show host versus a reality show host. Hey, oh, Greg, yeah, but Orville it, is a great show, by the way. Seth MacFarlane. Yeah. Oh, it's a great, it's a great show. show. It's a great show. Yeah. But yeah. uh, 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 and this statement though made a lot of sense. You know, we don't make that mistake again. We made it with Trump, or the yeah. we didn't, but the country made it with Trump. Let's not do it with Oprah. I mean. Uh, I would rather have, uh, you know, when you talk about, let me just bring something up and then I'll go to John next. When we talked about Kennedy, for instance, and that we don't want a, a royal family, you know, and so why should we uh, vote a Kennedy? And well, to begin with, uh, there has never been another Kennedy that's a president besides Jack Kennedy. Okay, that's for starters. There have already been two Bushes. All right. Now, Bobby uh, was well on his way. Well, Bobby uh, was well. Bobby was somewhat on his way. We don't know how he would have done. But here's the point yeah, I'm trying to right. make: Do we discount somebody because of that? And I don't think we should discount them either. I mean, they may make a good president. You know, we don't know. So don't discount people because of their their background that way either. But judge everybody on whether they can do the job or not. And you know, we know now that we've got a president who clearly is not right for the job <laughs> we have a very weak president and uh and Whoa. he's so weak that it proves that even a dog catcher could have beaten hillary because she was the weaker uh, yeah. than than trump john you had your hand up john had yeah, his hand up yeah. hold on a second you know i the, yeah. the point i'd like john had his hand up hold on yes the the point i'd like to make is I think uh, the presidency in this country is way overrated. I think we, we have an absolute idiot fool run, running at, uh, the, the White House right now. And it's proof that there is an establishment, sometimes it's referred to as the deep state, whatever you want to call it, that is in place running things. Uh, look at how Trump came in saying that he was going to try to uh, uh, normalize relations with Russia. Wow, uh, his, his uh, uh, Pentagon uh, staff and advisors just clamped down on that right away. The neoliberals still hanging out in Washington uh, advanced this, let's hate Russia, you know, let, let's play tough with them. I, you know, it's, it's the poli I think what we have to do if we're gonna see any hope for this country to move in some kind of the same direction is uh, look at organizing in, uh, uh, sanity in, in a different way, apart from presidential politics. I'm a big believer in local politics. I think or, or organizations, possibly uh, corporate C CEOs who have uh, kind of a high mindedness, and I would throw Elon Musk out uh, in that regard, even though the guy's anti-union, he hates unions, uh, but he's got a vision. He's got a vision for how to uh, bring some kind of energy sanity to this country. And that's what I'm talking about. I think that if we're going to save this country, we have to look to other institutions to, to bring us out of this morass and John, forget presidential politics. Presidential politics is an idiotic joke nowadays. John, Just look at what it's become. We've seen that the president is stifled. The president is not get, does not get to be a leader. Uh, if you get in a guy like Elon Musk who has ideas, his ideas don't necessarily translate to the Senate and the House doing anything and giving him legislation to sign. Uh, there, there is a complete yeah. uh, well, shutdown. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Yeah. Okay, we got so many hands up. Next, we go to Renee. Then we go to Rob. Then we go to Jeff. Okay, Renee. Okay. Really quickly, we can't do it. Patrick's right. We can't do shit with Citizens United there. So unless we're going to get serious and get rid of Citizens United, this is we're just blowing smoke up our skirts. Right uh, now, Rob. Phil, uh, I, I, I Phil, don't wear a skirt. What do you mean? I, Phil made a question about, uh, you know, to be a leader. What is a leader? A dictator? Because the presidency is not absolute power. It, it seems to be with this right. whole Russian investigation that they can fire and do whatever to try to obstruct justice. But 
when it comes to policy, we have three branches of government. There is no absolute power. So what is a leader? A leader is somebody who has... I, I was making the comment in but, relation to a guy like Musk. Uh, uh, a leader, but wait a minute. You have to be a politician. A guy like Musk, a guy like Trump run organizations. They're CEOs of organizations. And they say, this is what we're going to do. Now, my VP, executive VPs to the VPs to all the managers and all that, you execute the plan. It doesn't work like that in a government like I'll ours. I'll tell you what, what you need. What you need, what you need. Let me, let me say this. It, uh, to begin with, the best person to be president is a guy who's been a governor. Because he's, had, he's been, he's been, running, he's been running a government in microcosm. So when he Careful. goes to Washington, he knows, you know, he knows a little bit about economics. He knows a little bit about uh, she. OK, she no, knows. No, it was George so Bush. basically they're paper. Yeah, yeah, but wait a minute. But let me finish. And then we go to Jeff because Jeff's got his hand up. Uh, 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 though that that uh, governors are, are, are a good choice. I think you're going to see running for president in a few years. The former mayor of San Francisco. What's his name? Uh, Newsom. Newsom. Kevin Newsom will yeah. be a presidential candidate. He is a stealth candidate. He looks good. He sounds good. Uh, and he's even got a dirty. He's slimy, man. He, he's slimy and got a dirty background. So he's perfect for Washington. Uh, yes, Jeff. Well, the one that I was thinking as a candidate would be the guy who was the mayor of New York. Uh, Bloomberg de Blasio? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. No, De, yeah. not oh, De Blasio. Heaven forbid, not De Blasio. Not, <laughs> Jeez, oh, my, he can't even fix Bloomberg. a fucking. He can't even fix a fucking potholes in this town. Bloomberg, I would vote for Bloomberg in a heartbeat. I'll tell you, well, I, Bloomberg I might be too intrusive. He doesn't no. want you to drink Coca Cola. He didn't want to so do it. Pop that you're drinking, Renee. He wouldn't allow that. I'll tell but you something. He, he's yeah. self-made. He did it on its own. We can track it. We verified it. He's pushing forward in business. He's pushing forward internationally. He takes care of the, where he's at. These are all wonderful. Things. I don't think he'll ever run for president. I'll tell you why. No. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. You know, he's got his forum. He's got a, 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 a power base from which to, to wield certain ideas and ideals. And he can do it from there. He doesn't have to. How many terms but, was he New York governor? I mean, uh, New York mayor? Three, three, I, three terms. Three. Yeah. Too many times. Yeah. Actually, uh, he know, violated the, uh, yeah. the so, rules, but, but he changed the rules. He changed the rules. But okay. Well, he, he, is, I, like, and by the way, his third term, his third term was, likes it, to be it, elected. hold on a second. His third term was terrible. It was yeah. just terrible. And, and oh, part of that is once you give a guy a third term, somehow they get a God complex. You know, and that's when he started wanting to do away with soft drinks and, you know, uh, all these other things that he was he was pushing. But I don't know for that, though, not getting rid of them, but we should do more to inform people about what they're putting in their bodies. That's correct. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. And, and uh, so you all heard that we've been lied to about sugar, right? Yes. So yeah. The it's sugar poison. manufacturers and the cereal manufacturers got together in, what, the 50s? 30s, 40s, and 50s, and decided to lie to all of us, all of your children and all of us kids. We don't. Yeah, need you can always well. give them riddle well, in well, a well, 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 Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. In all fairness. In all fairness. What was that? Uh, Sugar. In all fairness, it, sometimes we have a tendency to suddenly realize that something's bad that all along we thought was okay. You know, no, you I, 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 I think there was a point. I think there was a point where where the tobacco people didn't think there was anything wrong with tobacco. And by the fifties, we had certain unmitigated proof that things were yep. happening. People started getting the cancers in the fifties, and so th at that point, the problem was the tobacco companies then started to go into denial. But prior to that, they didn't sit around saying, "Hey, let's give everybody cancer." You know. Hey, hey, uh, I got one for you. Uh, you know that uh, lady who was uh, appointed uh, head of the CDC, she had to resign yeah. because yeah. she bought all this stock in RJ. Yes, yes, yes. Days. Okay, you know, my son said the best thing. He said, uh, you know what's uh, what's sad about this is that she's still, you know, that she could have been in power. That, you know, yeah. what's unusual is that, you know, she resigned. She should have been, uh, that's the norm now to have people is like it, this stay in rampant? power. No matter what they did, you have a rapist scumbag for the president and you know al franken's down just for you know far lesser things 
And here you have this scumbag who talks about grabbing pussies. He's raped a, you know, had sex with a porn star. He probably raped somebody. You know, I mean, Jesus Christ. There was no guy, uh, there was no more perfect example of a man in power or a man empowered in business taking advantage of that with women than Trump. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we have several cases of that. If you want an argument about that, he is the he he along with Harvey Weinstein and Kevin Spacey are the poster children for that Matt particular Lauer. thing. He exposed Matt Lauer is another good one. And yeah. was he Alex? He exposed what was going on and was considered the norm, and and he joked about it. And now it's come it's come back to bite him a bit, but uh, well, it's come back Trump to bite said, a lot of people, okay? Because right. he, what uh, he said it was true. The time's up, you know. Yeah, but what he said was true. What was true? That he could that he could do these things because of his uh, his uh, celebrity. Yeah, but he said that he to a, a microphone when he didn't know it was on. Okay, he, said that he, he did them. He did those things. I can't control. Him. He was bragging. How many times did he say, "I, I can't control myself. I just go right up to him." And I wonder yeah. if uh, if Weinstein did the same thing. Did he brag? Weinstein was crueler, even crueler than Trump, because I don't think Trump tried to ruin anybody's career if they yeah, wouldn't sleep with him. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Weinstein, it was shown in one particular case, as soon as a woman uh, turned him down, he called his friends in Hollywood and told them she's off the list. Don't hire her. Okay? Mm, nasty, yeah. dirty, oh, yeah. slimy. But, but, but that, <laughs> I mean, I, I, quite frankly, I think Weinstein, Weinstein is a worse predator than that doctor that they just got. Because, Nasser. Yeah. Nasser. <laughs> because to begin with, I think the Weinstein numbers are even higher, okay, and uh, I, you know, I think that what he did was more egregious than what Nasser did, even though what Nasser did is disgusting. I don't what know about Nasser that. did, it's, it's, I hadn't heard everything, but I knew some of the accusations were over the fact that he didn't wear exam gloves when he was giving exams. No, he, honey. No. no? Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I, no, he did a lot of really bad stuff. They wouldn't even say put it on. The, they wouldn't even put it in the reports. It was it so was awful. it was the penis. Protect it was the penis therapy. I think that they didn't like. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, it, some doctors do that. I knew a woman Example. once who told me her doctor said that he had to put her, his penis in her because she was having problems with something, and that that was the way to solve it. And I'm thinking, <laughs> this is like 30, 40 years ago, okay? And I'm thinking, God, I never heard of that kind of medicine. I don't get that kind of medicine when I go to, to, to you know, to Kaiser. You get a, you uh, get a finger up the uh, up the chute. Yeah. The you wazoo, know. man. But, uh, yes, uh, Patrick. <laughs> Patrick. So being sexually assaulted in a gym by the person who's supposed to be training you. Oh, no, it's terrible. But I'm saying that I think Weinstein is maybe an inch worse than Nasser is. Okay? And, Nas and Nasser has become the poster child. Well, no, he's not right. because Nasser did it to children. Yeah, you and, got a point. Uh, okay, you get the point. Okay, you get the score on that one. Yes. No, but yes. Hold on a second. You keep talking about all these men that, that that their jobs, that their careers were ruined, and it's awful for them. Rose McGowan, when this, so this had we've kind of sort of heard of the Rose McGowan part of this for at least fifteen years now. Yeah. Because I remember when she came out in Grindhouse, and there was a whole bunch of crap around the Grindhouse stuff that she was doing with. Um, well, Weinstein uh, produced that produced that film. Yeah. yeah, and so there was a whole bunch of crap okay. we were hearing about what was happening then, and then she cut her hair, and then she became really recluse, and then she wasn't doing a lot of, she wasn't doing hardly any Hollywood at all, and it's probably because what he was, he did to her, he blacklisted her. I'm sure and he did. Been this I'm for sure a he did. Patrick, you had your hand up. Yeah, I I, I did want to say, uh, Phil, part of the, the no gloves were part of it, but. Yeah. The worst of it, in my opinion, was Nasser going into the bedroom at night and doing exams and mm. all of that sort of stuff without any consent from any of the... I mean, it's not like any of the girls were asking that something was wrong. He would show up in their bedrooms at night and examine them. Yeah. How, and how, it was, how and tell them, them it was the exam. Wait, wait, what, what, what's your question, Rob? Right. How do they let him get away with that? Uh, ask, the, ask the Michigan people. Yeah, they're the ones who they did. It up. That's why they, they had to 
to resign. It's, you, you, talk about fucked up and uh, yep. conspiracy and all whatever word you want to put to it. I can't remember anything more disgusting in recent memory. Well, uh, the, the Sandusky what, thing. What, yeah. The yeah. Sandusky thing. The Sandusky all, thing all, was pretty all, egregious. University did and all that. Right. They hit his shit. They hit his shit. And, and and how many men were raped from him by him? And, yeah, I and think it was men. men went, did it too? Well, we had that story last night that uh, about uh, uh, about Fox and how uh, right. what's his name? Uh, the, Vincente Fox? Uh, no, yeah. no, the Fox TV, Fox no. News. <laughs> how, how what's his name? Fuck uh, you, uh, Trump. Uh, the, uh, uh, what's his name? The creep. Uh, the fat creep. What? What's his name? The fat creep. Um, uh, 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 Roger. Ailes. Roger Ailes. Uh, they, they used to have a thing called. They used to have a thing at Fox called Trunk Week, and what Trunk Week was is that when they, that's when they brought in trunks of clothing, and all the women at Fox would be herded into this room where they would change into all these different outfits that were going to be the outfits that they were going to use for the next uh, half a year, okay. And so they would be in there taking their clothes off and putting these dresses on and maybe even ha being naked and putting the dresses on just so they could get in and out of them faster. And Roger Ailes had a camera. Mm. And sat there watching the whole thing. Jerking yeah. off the entire time. Now, my feeling was if they had, if, if they had, if they had simply slipped and put that on the air, it would be the biggest show in television news. I want to know who's got that tape. It probably is going to be the next big show of television. Hey, is Larry Flint still alive? Remember, he was offering a million bucks to any woman who had come forward for, with a, a scandalous story on any Republican in the House or the Senate. Yeah. And I, I don't know if Larry Flint's still alive, but no, Larry, we need people Larry's like still that alive. to offer big financial rewards. Man, you could bring down this whole stupid government in like a month. If uh, you doled out that kind of money, Larry was a strange, is kind of a strange guy. Uh, but I was kind of proud to have him as my boss for about seven years when I wrote for Hustler. Wow! Uh, I, I, I did a monthly <laughs> column for Hustler, and people would say, "Oh, you do a column for Hustler?" And I go, "Yeah, they let me. I talk about politics, and it's everything else but sex. Maybe once in a great while, I might do something on sex." I said, but I am very proud of it because I'm proud of the record that Flint has had in the area of human rights, you know. Yeah, yeah. And this is not a guy who was particularly the brightest guy you ever met, and he wasn't, uh, 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 you know, the, the sharpest person politically, but he, he did know what was wrong and what was right. And he also knew what affected him personally, you know. That's why he went out after Falwell is because his, especially when his girlfriend died, uh, he did not like what Falwell was doing, and he was willing to put the money behind taking that thing to the Supreme Court. Not to save his own ass, but to, to get Falwell and to change the law. And he did. And now you can parody. He was in a wheelchair, yeah. wasn't he? Huh? Did he get shot? Yeah. He, was in a he got shot. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah yes, Ray's got his hand up. Uh, yeah. Falwell, I mean, uh, Larry Flint's still alive. He's like in his mid seventies, I think. Yeah. But um, it's so interesting because uh, I, I'm familiar with this play that I had something to, to do with. It's called um, "In the Next Room" or the Vibrator Play. And <laughs> in the eight, in the late nineteenth century, uh, women who were of of money, whose husbands were not satisfying them, would go to the doctor and they would use a vibrator on the woman to cure quote unquote hysteria, mm -hmm. and. Um, you mean the doctor got to get it? Oh, sorry. yes. Yeah, and, but the woman, <laughs> all it, no, they would, she would go in to to get her hysteria cured, knowing what was going to happen, and then they would do. Re, it could be like going to the chiropractor. You come in every week, and your hysteria would be um, taken care, care of by the doctor. You get that with the bronze <laughs> Obama plan, do you, Jeff? You had your hand up a while ago. Did I go to you? I'm I'm losing track here. Did I go to you, Jeff? Get on that. Plan. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. I want to make sure that I didn't. Hey, uh, you know, talking about going to the chiropractors, I have to thank Ray Renati. He recommended a, uh, I have had terrible pain, especially since I fell off the motorcycle. And I, and uh, it's been radiating over my head. I haven't been able to sleep. That's your Ray, halo falling. Yeah, really. Uh, 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 Ray recommended a uh, cervical chiropractor for me. I met with him today. 
And I tell you, this guy was so thorough. Uh, he, uh, he was excellent. Now, Alex, uh, because of the pain that I'm having, I know that you don't want to visit with a chiropractor. Well, I'm thinking about it now because of the numb feet and the fact that it's probably a spinal thing. You know? Yeah, and I'm, I'm telling you, this guy was so thorough. He saw exactly what was going on, uh, more thorough than I've ever had a chiropractic uh, uh, yeah. thing before. And uh, But I, I got to thank... Uh, Ray and, and and Ray used somebody very similar, uh, except in a different town. This one was recommended by his neuro, uh, neuropath. Yeah. neuropath. And my neuro so Alex, you need to go to a um, an upper cervical chiropractor. It's a completely different thing. But, but, I'm, but no I, I, I think it's no. probably down in my lower back is where I think it's originating from. It doesn't yeah. go to my well, legs. Know, it, it goes to my feet, and my feet get yeah. numb. Yeah. Well, you know, Ray Ray was a boxer. Uh, is that it? A moot, moot yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, he got hit, and he had terrible uh, neck pain also. And, well, somebody uh, somebody yeah. with no no back pain at all is has, got, has his hand up. Yes, Patrick. <laughs> now, Alec, can I just humbly recommend that maybe you consider paralysis? Because then you won't have to <laughs> <laughs> Work for Larry Flint too. <laughs> well, if, if, if paralysis is an option, uh, you know, I mean, you've done pretty well with it, you know. What I mean, I mean, I, I, it's an option that I chose. So, but because right now, right now, whenever I complain about things, my my wife goes, "Don't tell me about it. I don't want to hear about it. You won't go to a doctor. You won't do anything about it. I don't want to hear about it." If I get paralyzed, I go, "But I'm paralyzed. I can't go. You have to take me." <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yes, Ray. Hey, Alex, I'm pretty sure I heard you complaining about your sciatic thing like 20 years ago. No, I... no, 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 no. Those those were other complaints. I've always had no, something he has, going. He has a new version. Okay. You know, when I listened to that 1999 show of his, it, 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 the complaints were the same as what he's what he does today. Yeah, yeah, yes. Do you guys remember when Alex burned his winky and we got to hear about it on radio? Oh, yeah. no, they they don't know that story. They don't know yeah. that story. I was. I uh, did not know he barbecued it. I was I, okay. I'm gonna. This is gonna be the most uh, revealing story I've ever told on the air, and I can tell it in a way. I I uh, I burned the tip of my penis. Now let me explain how I burned it. I was making ribs in the in the oven. Okay. In the food. And wait a minute. And then I was in the bedroom, and since I had nothing better to do, and when a guy is alone and he has nothing else to do, he jerks off. So I started jerking off, and I got an erection, but then I realized I had to go take care of the ribs. So I, I, I went into the kitchen, and I pulled the, the rack out, and it touched my erect penis. That's called secret sauce. And I immediately said to myself, I think I just fucked myself up. And, and, and I put ice on it when I should have put butter on it, I think. No, it, no, you put, no ice. Okay, I put butter on it. So ba basically, you know, I turned it into a, a, a fried weenie. Oh, and uh, uh, so now I've got this thing. And it wasn't that bad that day but by the next day it got worse and worse and finally it was like here was the problem I, I, that part of your body has a hard time healing because it's in a moist place and so you know you have your legs crossed you have your pants on and it doesn't have a, it, it, you should be able to run around naked for three weeks until it clears up right but you can't do that so I, uh, uh, I just uh, had to bear it as it was trying to heal. And then I would like be sleeping on my stomach and then I would turn around and it had adhered itself to the sheets. <laughs> and so whatever scab I had, uh, are, you, are you ready for this, folks? Whatever scab I had would get ripped off and I'd be bleeding like a stuck pig. And so, so I had to finally, you couldn't put a Band-Aid on it. You know, it was in a place you just had to wait for it to finally take care of itself. What did you do? Tell the girls you had AIDS? 
<laughs> no, I just it was it was it was terrible. You're, you're, you're so, yeah. So, take, so you, this is being recorded, and yeah. this this project. Yes, yes. and this is now forever. this is now yeah, history. Be on YouTube forever. But that, that's how I got a a a a permanent scar on the end of my penis. <laughs> however, however, as the years went on, it started fading, and it was rather attractive. It was I, kind I, of I, like I, you know I, you, I, uh, you remember I, where I, you've I, been. I, what? I, went to one of those Chinese herbologist doctors and you said, what am I going to do? He says, I oh, don't worry about it. In two weeks, it'll fall off by itself. Yeah, right. No, <laughs> but the thing was that I couldn't have sex for a month, maybe. And it was pretty difficult to jerk off. I had to like do it with tweezers or something, you know. So I, <laughs> and we all got to <laughs> it, it was horrible. And I was, you know, I was in my sexual prime, okay? I had a radio show. Women were throwing themselves at me. And here I am with a penis that is out of commission. <laughs> so uh, uh, that, that's a story I've never told as completely as I've just told it because I never could tell it this way on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> so Unless you were on serious like Howard Stern or something. I know how you could have beaten off. You just take a hot dog bun yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and you know, and then you know, put a little bit of barbecue sauce on it, and you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it, 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 was, it was. It was. Butter a, was the right answer. And I can't even remember if I ate the ribs. I, you know. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> but people would say, "How did you do it?" And I wouldn't tell the story of how I did it because it was so stupid. You know, no, that was story because you couldn't use those because words. Because part, well, part of the thing you have to know is that I had an erection at the time. Otherwise, I wouldn't have burned it. You know. Yeah. There's, there's some stuff he's left out in the original story when he told it because he couldn't say those things on the air. Yeah. So he, he denied it all. Then, oh, yeah. I, no, I wasn't. I was barbecuing. No, no. Nothing happened bad. No, no. No, I talked <laughs> about the fact that I had uh, burnt my thing. Wee wee, I think Tony would call it. Uh, uh, wee wee? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was hilarious. It was like a month's worth of listening Johnson. to poor and his penis yeah, and then uh, uh, joke, con constant jokes from the comics, you know. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> but it was, uh, I think it was a tribute to me that I still went to work every day with a burnt penis. I think that that's certainly, you know, says, doesn't that hey, speak? the show must go on. Doesn't that speak volumes, Rob? Yeah, absolutely. It's the total professional thing to do. Yes. <laughs> and you're sitting, that's not comfortable when you've got a burnt penis. How do you, uh, what did you do, like, you know, when you walk, right, and, you you know, it's it's moving around in your underwear and stuff, that must have just been. Oh, it's when it wasn't moving around in your underwear, and then it adhered itself to your underwear, and then you had to rip it off. Okay. Well, I got a phone uh, what call I finally today. did, I p always carried a can of solar cane with me, right? <laughs> uh, March 19th is my date. They're gonna they're gonna rip rip out my prostate on March nineteenth. So I said, how long am I gonna be out of work? And they said, well, you'll have a catheter for ten to fourteen days. Jeez. So I said, I said, can I walk around with a <laughs> catheter? And they said, well, it depends on how much pain uh, you can take. I said, well, just give me drugs and I'll, I'll be okay. Uh, so I'm gonna get one of those desks that raise up because I won't be able to sit down. So the the desk. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, race up with you. but you won't have to go off to pee. Yeah. You can just run it out the uh, out the door. And, yeah, uh, no, they give you take breaks. Huh? You don't have to take breaks to go pee. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, you know how much time I'm going to save? Yeah, <laughs> and, and he and, and and Patrick can give you tips. Yeah, and based on the weight of my prostate, I'm going <laughs> to lose weight. By the way, um, uh, Forbin, who is our biggest chatter guy here, he's the guy who talked me into doing YouTube. Said and the uh, and ever since Alex checks into hotels as Dick Burns. <laughs> uh, 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 anyway, uh, let me see here. First thought, of all, since your first name's really Ben, uh, your last name quickly you Patrick, it Patrick, and then Ray. Uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, make sure that you do have some sort of a weight distribution. I mean, I, even though the only time I've ever had. Catheter with the bag is after surgery. Yeah, it's still there's a weight to it, and it can not painful for me, but it yeah. would be for you. So yeah, do don't they strap it to your leg? <clears throat> um, yeah, you you can get one uh, where you strap it to the leg, but strap it to your thigh. Yeah, you're gonna up higher. Yeah, but otherwise, 
Yeah, and then just be careful so you don't yeah. bump don't against to... something. Yeah. The a bottom is right. Fuzzy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've, I've opened mine up. I was in the bathroom, and I accidentally opened it up. That was after my last surgery. Yeah. I had piss all over the floor. So oh. that was fun cleaning up, too. So. Yeah. Uh, Who's cleaning my mouse out of the house? What? <laughs> what? What's the first, Who's what's the date? My mouse again? March 19th. Wait a minute. Okay. I can't. Uh, let me okay, see. we'll do some. Then, then you'll know it's safe to come on GabNet because I'll be uh, incapacitated. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Alex, I've always yeah. thought yeah. that if you injure your penis or something, oh, yeah, that you should be able to walk around with it hanging out your pants, you know, like your zipper. Yeah. Yeah. It should be just like a societal norm that like guys are allowed to do that. What? You know something? No, somewhere, we'll, I'm still getting the, audio. No, just so you could keep it aired out. And, nope. No. Hey, remember there was a Black Panther guy who designed clothes, and he had like a, yeah, a uh, penis a part of the clothes. Who was that guy? It wasn't uh, Stokely Carmichael. Elvis Cleaver, right. Elvis Cleaver, yeah. He had the, like, the little cod piece thing, you know, exactly. sticking out of the pants or something. You know? Oh, talking about Eldridge Cleaver, you know, he lived in Cuba. And you know who yeah. just committed suicide is... Yeah, uh, Castro's his, son. Yeah. son. Yeah. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, he Elvis. suffered from depression. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you would be too if you were married, if you were the son of uh, uh, Fidel Castro. Hey, listen, we've run out of time. I've run even over a little bit. Uh, this has been marvelous because uh, the number of people watching uh, has been extraordinarily high. Uh, in fact, it's it's the highest. We got to a level that's the highest it's ever been with one of our video shows. So, you know, I, uh, I thank you all for being part of that and making it interesting enough that people want to watch this thing. I think YouTube is working out very nicely. Thank you very much, Jeff. We appreciate your participation tonight. Phil Meyer, thank you. Thank you, Renee Collins from Hawaii, and thank God also for that sunset. Rob Alfano, always a pleasure. Scott, you didn't say much tonight, but you never do when we have a ton of people. Ray Renati, we love your participation. <laughs> Patrick, you're always a thrill to have on. And, and John, anytime. You're bright, you're smart, and I think everybody should give a big wave goodbye to the audience out there. Uh, and uh, as, we, uh, as we fade off into our own broadcast sunset. Bye, guys and gals. Okay. That's it for tonight. Uh, let me just uh, let me just turn off the uh, the Skype uh, so that the next show can use it. Okay, that's it. There we go. We're in good shape. Uh, I think that's about it. That's all she wrote. Uh, Jack and Amy are next with the intersection. After that is connections at uh, one o'clock in the morning, Eastern time. These are all Eastern times. Tomorrow night at 9.30, it's the exchange with Damian Chaplin. I'm Alex Bennett. I'll see you tomorrow night at 10, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you happen to see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye. <laughs>